Hey everyone, thanks for joining Learn to Play Games. My name is Lance, and in today's video we're going to be playing through a brand new game I just got in, Marvel Zombies. This is a collaboration game between Come On Games and Spin Master Games. It is a 1-6 to six player game that takes roughly 30-90 to 90 minutes to play, and is a fully cooperative game where all the players are working together to complete whichever scenario they've chosen to go on. So in this video I'm going to be playing through the second scenario, as the first one is more of just a tutorial. I do want to also want to point out that this is just a playthrough, I'm not going to be teaching you the rules in this one. So if that's something you'd like to see, a full teaching video, let me know in the comments down below. The more of those comments that I get, the more I know whether this is one that would be a good one or not for the channel. So let me know in those comments down below if that's something you'd like to see. As always, if you find my videos helpful, if you like what I do, please consider that like button and subscribing to my channel. It's one of the easiest ways you can support channels like mine so we can continue to grow, build, and produce this content. If you want to get notified anytime I drop new videos, including other playthroughs, teaching videos, unboxings, and all the Kickstarter goodness that's out there, also give that notification bell a ring and that'll let you know whenever I drop new stuff. Also, let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on this one. Is this one that you've played? Is this one you're looking forward to getting? Why or why not? And is this your first zombie side that you've played? As this is part of the zombie side universe, so if this is your first, you might not be familiar with that. But if you've played these in the past, let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on this one. Did you like the changes? Are there enough changes? What are your thoughts? So let's go ahead and head to the table and we'll see how this one plays. All right, so moving in, we're going to go ahead and start with the players' turns. And there's a brand new step with this, where each one of the zombie heroes are going to gain one on their hunger tracks. So we'll go ahead and take care of that real quick. And then we move into the players' turns. Now with this one, and unlike with other ones where you're going to be going in clockwise order, this one you get to choose how you want to activate your heroes. So you'll have one of these tokens, and you'll flip it over once you've taken your turn. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with, um, let's go ahead and start with Cap. So he's going to take his first action to move here. And then let's go ahead and open this door. So I'll place one of those. That's his second action. And then with this one, we have a spawn point, And then we also have a bystander. So the spawn point first is two specialists. So we'll drop them in there. And then we reveal the bystander, bystander card. And we have Betty Ross. So let me grab her mini. There she is. All right, and she'll go there, and then we'll just put her bystander card for there. Because once one of our heroes devours her, then she will become part of their uh, card or section that she gets a special ability that she grants them. All right, so Cap has one action left. Um, might as well, I guess, just move in because they're going to come out anyway. So let's go ahead and move in. And then that is his turn. So I'll flip that over. And then let's see, who do we want to activate next? Well, Wasp does have a ranged attack, so she might be the next one to go. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll move her over one. And then she's going to attack in there with her Wasp Sting. It has a range of zero to one. It's going to give her two dice. Then she gets an additional dice for every level of her hunger. So she's going to pick up one for that. And then she's looking for threes or better. And she got two successes. Each one of these guys has a toughness of one. So they each get eliminated. She's going to get two experience for that. And the other thing is when you're making attacks, if you roll a one or the teeth, for every one of those you roll, you're going to increase your hunger by one point. So that's another way you're going to gain hunger. And the reason why you're tracking that is basically the hunger of you being a zombie is going to cause you to basically become ravenous when it hits four. When that happens, you can only move and do a t devour attacks. Those are the only options you have until you stop becoming or stop being ravenous. And if you end your turn and you're ravenous or have a hunger of four, then you also lose a wound automatically that you can't avoid. So that's also another bad thing with that. So you, you basically kind of, your body's breaking down. All right, so that was her third action or second action. She has one left. And I think I'm... Uh, I think I will just take a zombie trait. 
So I can do this once per turn, or per character, unless they have other abilities that say otherwise. So this particular one is a opportunist, and each one of these zombie traits are basically a one and done, so you'll discard it after you use it. So this one says, discard before attacking, increase your hunger, add one or plus one to the dice results for this attack. All right, so that's her turn. So we'll flip that over. And let's go with, let's go with Deadpool. One, two, then he's gonna go ahead and attack. And he can increase his zombie trait by one to gain a free, or increase his hunger by one to, to draw one zombie trait. So it's ambush, spawn one trooper in your zone, and then draw another trait card. All right, so trooper in my zone, and then another trait card. Submit to hunger, discard during your turn, increase hunger by any amount, ignore ravenous this turn. Ooh, that's nice. All right, um, so that was one, two, and then it's basically an attack. I was hoping to devour, but uh, <laughs> that trooper shocked me. All right, so I'm gonna do a katana, dual katana, so that's three dice plus two for my hunger, and I need fours. All right, so I got what I needed. I got two successes. I did get one here, so that's going to increase my hunger by one. And this trooper is going to be eliminated. Now, bystanders cannot be eliminated by regular attacks, only the devour. And devour normally only uh, is able to eliminate one enemy, no matter how many successes you got. All right, so I do get one experience for that. And that will finish off his turn. So I guess... The Hulk is going to go in there. One, two, and I'll go ahead and try to devour her. So I'm going to get one for the devour die and then one for my hunger. I need one, four, or better. And I didn't get it. <laughs> All right. That is the end of his turn as well. So then we'll move into the enemy turn. So she's going to move out of there. She's trying to get to the closest spawn point. If she gets there, then we are going to lose this mission. So we don't want that to happen. All right, and then we go into our spawn. So we have to spawn at number one first, and we have a superhero coming out. All right, so let's see what we have. We have Scarlet Witch. So I'll place her over here, and then she's going to come out. And with her, she has three toughness, and zombie heroes in her zone must reroll all hits. So she's kind of a pain. All right, and then down here, and we have six troopers. Oof. Alright. And that will end the turn. And there is an end of, of turn step, but that only is resolved if there's certain conditions that are out there or things that trigger that, which in this scenario there aren't any of those, so I don't have to worry about that. So moving into the new rounds, each one of these get flipped over. Our heroes or zombie guys are gonna become more hungry. So now Deadpool is ravenous. And that's it. Now the one other thing to point out is during that end of, of round step, if one of your guys has been eliminated, then that is the end of the game as you cannot lose any of your zombie heroes. All right, so moving back into it, um, Deadpool might be the one to go because otherwise he's going to be taking wounds because there's nobody else out right now that he can get to. So I'm going to go ahead and move up one. And then I will attack with a Devour. So I'm going to get one for the Devour attack and four for the Hunger. And I'm looking for fours. And I got one. Now the teeth with this one are going to be negated. So they don't add to it even though you're going to be dropping it down. All right. So I do Devour her. So that is going to return to zero. She is going to be removed. And I will gain her card. All right. So it says when moving, you may increase your Hunger... Uh, to move plus one zone. That's nice. All right. Uh, that was his first or second action. So he moved and attacked. And then he does get five points for that for this particular scenario. And then I will go ahead and move up one more. And I'll go ahead and use that ability, increase my hunger by one to move one more. And that will take care of his turn. So next... 
I will go with, I think I'll go with Captain. I'm gonna pick up this objective, so that's gonna get me five experience points. And then I will open the door. It's a little quicker to get out this way at her. And then I'll go ahead and take a trait for my last action. So he has Gorge. Discard after devouring a guard or superhero. Heal one of your wounds. All right, so that's Captain's turn. And then the Wasp one, too. I could take a shot with her because she does have range there. She gets two plus two, so four dice on threes. Discard after attacking two creatures. Okay, so she does have opportunists as well. So let's go ahead and try it. One, two. And then her last action, she's going to go ahead and attack Scarlet, which is she's going to avoid that special ability because if she was in there, then she'd have to re-roll all of her successes. All right, so I'm going to get two plus two more for her hunger. So I need at least three successes on this. All right, I got two. And then this says, discard after attacking and increase hunger. Add one die to the results for this attack. All right, so I'll go ahead and bump that up. And I get to add a die. <laughs> All right, so she's gonna go to four. And that is it for her. Uh, and that was her last action. Because she moved in and attacked. Okay. All right, so then it's just going to be the Hulk to finish this off. So he could move in there and attack. Yeah, let's go ahead and try. One, two. And then he's going to attack for his last one. He gets three dice for smash. And he's going to get two more for his hunger. Now, he, he, his starting ability is strongest one out there. So enemies have minus one toughness against your attacks to a minimum of one. Unless using Thunderclap, which I'm not, you may reroll any dice if there is a superhero in your zone. So the question is, who gets to reroll first? Because she's going to force him to reroll and then technically he would get to reroll, so I would say that's probably going to cancel it out, so it's just going to be this one roll. All right, I need at least two fours. I got two. Oof. All right, because he drops her toughness by one. Otherwise, I would have needed three. All right, so she's done, and he gets three experience for beating her. And that is it. All right, so that'll move into the enemy's turn. So these guys are gonna move up. And then we have spawning. So up top with Hulk, we have one specialist. And down below, we have two troopers. That's a little bit of a lighter one. All right, then hunger goes up. She's already at max, so she's gonna lose a health. And then all these flip over and it moves back into our turn. All right. So Wasp will probably be the first one to go. She's gonna move in and she's gonna have to try to do in a devour. So she's gonna get five dice on fours. There it is. All right, so that guy's gone. She gets one experience for that. And this drops back down to zero. All right, and that was her second action. She's got one left. So I'll move back down one. Get out of that spawn point. All right, uh, that will finish off her turn. So Deadpool, let's go with him next. I'm going to go ahead and open that door. And we have spawning first, so just the one. And it's a superhero. There was a superhero waiting in that, that room. Thor! His attacks deal two wounds. <laughs> That's not good. And then the bystander is rescued. Instead of spawning a bystander, draw a spawn card for this zone. All right. 
And we have one guard that activates. So he's going to move in there. Well, that was not good. Um, let's go ahead and open this one up. That's my second action. So this one has a superhero. <laughs> of course it does. We have the Black Panther. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> and the bystander in here is also rescued. Uh, so another and four troopers. So we thought there was bystanders. The superheroes have tricked us. Man. <laughs> All right. I'm going to move over here for my last action. Oh, that's going to be a problem. All right. Then the Hulk. I think I'll go next with. So one, two, and I'll get a, gain a trait for him. And he has lunge. Discard during your turn and increase hunger. Move up to one zone, ignoring enemies, then perform one free devour attack. Well, that's pretty good. And that will finish off his turn. So over to Captain. Let's see. One, two, and I'll go one more, and I'll finish off there, and then I can pop that next turn. All right, so that will finish the turn. So then, then we'll activate, and superheroes actually get two actions. So one, two, and same with Thor. So we've got some trouble. Then these guys are going to move. Those guys go up. Let's go up. And finally, these guys. All right. So from there, then it's uh, that's the end of the round. Nobody is at their highest point, so now we move up. Okay. And it goes back into our turns. All right, so Hulk. We might be the best one to try to handle this. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and activate him first. He has to do a devour. And he drops Thor's toughness from five to four. And then he does get five dice. And then he does uh, does get a reroll on the and on any dice if there's a superhero in there as well. So he'll get rerolls. So let's see what happens here. All right, so I got one success. That's a crack. All right. And then these get rerolled. So I need at least two more successes out of this. There it is. Okay. So Thor has gone down. I'll discard his card. And then the Hulk is going to pick up five experience points. So that'll put him up to eight. I'll drop his hunger back down. And... I might as well go after Black Panther as well. So this time I'm going to get a three for Smash. And that's it because Devour doesn't have anything. So I have to get all three successes. All right, there's one. And then these get rerolls. And what's his ability? Perform a number of actions per activation equal to one plus the highest danger level among the zombie heroes. Two to five. Okay. So he gets nastier later in the game. And one more success, not enough. All right, and no ones to increase that. So that was his second action. So I got one more, and he's already in there, so there's no point in that. So let's go ahead and try it again. Third action, so there we go. All right, and that's two successes. This gets re-rolled. Hey, holy moly, three sixes. All right, so that will defeat Black Panther, getting me four more experience. So he's up to 12 now. And that will be it for that. And then he gets one action left. Well, that was Spider-Man. I had the wrong model there. <laughs> All right. Um, let's, let's go here. All right, so that'll finish off his turn. Well, I could do lunge. 
This card during your turn increase hunger by one. Move up to one zone, ignoring enemies, and then perform a free devour. Nah, not yet. All right, from there, let's go ahead and go with Cap next. So we'll open the door, and we have two spawns. So this one here first on yellow now is Escorted by Standard. So spawn a bystander with two guards. All right, so the bystanders were holding out in here. All right, and the bystander is Agent Colson. All right, so I'll put his up here. This one is three specialists. So they'll go out. And then this bystander is Wong. All right, so they're both attacking bystanders. So with them, they're going to move towards the zombie hero to try to attack them. All right, so that was my first action with Cap. Um, I got a lot of specialists in there. So... I think... I will go ahead and gain another zombie trait. Feast. Discard when performing a devour attack. This attack may eliminate more than one enemy. Okay, so that's cool. And I think I'm just going to hold out there because that's a lot in that room. I got a lot all over the place here. All right, so uh, let's go with Wasp next. So she's going to move here and then she'll make her Wasp Sting. That's two plus one more for her hunger. On to that guy there. I need two successes. I got just one. And her hunger increases. And let's go again. So now she's getting four dice. Oof. That bumps her up two more. But she does defeat him. That's not good. All right. And that's the end of her turn. So she's going to take another wound. All right, and then it's just Deadpool. So what is what do we do with Deadpool? Um, let's go ahead and take a zombie trait. That's my first action. So I have lunge. So during discard during your turn to increase hunger, move up to one zone, ignoring enemies, then perform a free devour attack. Mm. Second action. And I guess I'm just going to hold there. Just kind of getting ready for the next turn. All right, so then the enemies are going to activate. So these guys will move up. These guys are going to move up. So these guys, they get to move two. These guys will move up with him, and then Wong will move over. All right, and then we have spawns up top. We have two specialists. And down below is one guard. All right, so not so bad. All right, then our hunger moves up. The captain's at four, too. I didn't realize he was at four, so he's going to take a wound, and she's going to take a wound. All right, then these flip back over. And it's back into our turn. All right. Um, well, I guess let's go ahead and start with Wasp first. So she's going to move as her first. And then she has to do a Devour. So five. And she's going to take a Trooper, basically. And she got him. So she's back down to zero. She gets an experience. And then she still has one action left. So let's go ahead and do a wasp sting. And she can ignore target priority when attacking with either wasp sting or devour. 
Oh, so let's go ahead and take one of those specialists instead. All right, and then let's go ahead and do the wasps thing. And that's a crack. And three and a six, so two hits. And again, she gets to choose. So she's gonna take those two, of course. All right, so that gives her two more experience. And that levels her up, so now she gets one more action. Might as well take another shot here. And I could go after one of those guards. Yeah, let's go ahead and try that. So I need two successes on threes, and she got them. All right, so the guard goes down. She picks up another experience. And that is her turn. All right, who do I want to go next? Um, well, let's go with Deadpool. So I'm going to need five. And, oh yeah, he devours. All right, so that brings him back down. He picks up an experience, so now he's on yellow, so he gets an extraction. So he's got three left. And what do we got here? So during your turn, increase to move up to one zone, ignoring enemies, and perform one free devourer attack. Submit to hunger during your turn, increase hunger by any amount, ignore ravenous this turn. Uh, sure, let's go ahead and do uh, two. And then I will make an attack with my dual katanas. So that's going to give me two for hunger and three for the katanas. And we're going to go after those troopers there. Looking for fours. Wow. That was that was great. <laughs> so that's all five troopers. Oof. Deadpool is the man. All right. So that will take care of that. That was his second action because he had to do devour, then the attack. So I have two actions left. Um, so I could do a lunch, which would let me do another devour. Might as well. And then Captain could devour potentially. Or, no, I'll leave that for him. All right, so. Might as well use the lunge. This one, if I can grab it. This card during your turn, increase your hunger by one. And I get to move one zone and then do a devour. All right, so we'll go ahead and go in here. And then devour is four dice. Oh yeah. All right, so that's that. That drops him back down to zero. And he picks up another one. Unfortunately, he's in there with that guy, but that's all right. I might be able to take care of him anyways. All right, um, so it's down to Cap and Hulk. Let's go with Hulk next. So Hulk smash. I'm gonna get three and one on those guys. And that's two. And two there. And it gets two more there. And that was my first action. Do I do a devour? Or do I try another smash? Six dice. Yeah, let's do it. Smash. All right, so I got two successes, no ones. So my uh, hunger does not go up, so that's good. So that's two there. That was two attacks. I will move in for three and four, so I can pick that up. All right. And then it's over to Cap to finish this off. So let's go ahead and do 
Discard when performing a devour attack. This attack may eliminate more than one enemy target. Priority applies. Okay. So let's go ahead and move in for one. And then let's go ahead and do the devour. So I'm going to get five dice for that. And I will do feast. This attack may eliminate more than one enemy. So let's see what happens with that. And fours. And I got three successes. This is exactly what I needed. So two will have to go on the guard first. Then the last one will take out Doc, um, uh, Mr. Coulson or Agent Coulson. So he's going to, I'm going to get his ability now, which is once during your turn, you may increase your hunger to perform one free ranged attack. Well, he doesn't have a range attack, so I'm not sure how that'll work, but maybe getting him over to the wasp. All right, and then I do have Gorge as well, which is the discard after devouring a guard or superhero and heal one of your wounds. And I did eliminate a guard, so I'm going to go ahead and discard that as well to benefit from that. So I moved and attacked, and this drops back down to zero. And I devoured a bystander, which... Yes, they still give me five points for this mission. All right, so that was 10, and then I got the guard as well for 11. All right, so I got two actions remaining. Um, I think... Let's move back. And then... I'll grab a trait. Or actually, I'll move forward and grab a trait. All right, so this is resist hunger discard during your turn to decrease hunger by one. That finishes off his turn. And that is the round. So Wong is going to move up. Guard will move up. This guy is going to attack Deadpool. So he's going to take a wound. And that is it. And nobody's at max at this point, so these will all flip back over. Nobody takes wounds. And then we have spawning. We have to move these guys as well. So up top, we have all troopers get an extra activation. So he's going to hit Deadpool again. So Deadpool takes another wound. And then down here, we have sidearm troopers open fire. So it's a range of 0 to 1. They roll a die, and on a 5 plus... They do, they, they do a wound. So, Deadpool again. And it's a six. That one trooper has almost <laughs> more than half wounds on him. Phew. All right. So, nobody's spawning this round. All right. Back to us. So, we still have that objective up there. And this one and that one. All right. So, let's do... Let's go with the wasp next. So she'll move in and then she's going to do, oh, we have to increase hunger by one. So Hulk is all the way up. Okay. Well, that changes what he can do. <laughs> no. All right. So the wasp is going to go ahead and try to devour. So she's going to get two dice on fours. And she got it. So Wong has been devoured. She will decrease hers down to zero. And then Wong's card is after performing a melee attack, you may increase hunger to reroll any misses. Okay. Those two would be great to swipe. All right. Uh, that was one, two. So she's got two actions left. And then she does get five points for that. Puts her up to 13. Cap can grab that, so let's go ahead and go one, and then she'll go ahead and attack up there. So it's two dice on threes. On threes. So both these guys are gone. Two, three. Ooh. That was probably not good for the Hulk. <laughs> oh, well. All right. Uh, it's two more for her. So she's up to 15 now. And that's pretty much it. She could go after this guy down here. 
to free up Deadpool to do his thing. So yeah, let's try it. On threes. There's one and an increase hunger by one. Let's up to 16. All right, that will finish off her turn. So Hulk cannot pick that up now because he can only do those two types of actions, moving and attacking. So let's go one, two, three, and four. And then hopefully somebody comes out of there next turn. All right, so that'll finish off his turn. Next, let's go with Cap. So one, two, puts him up to 16. And then three, four. So that'll finish off his turn. And then Deadpool, one, two, three, four, increase by two, gives me two free movement. So I'll have one action remaining and I'll pick this up for that. So that puts me up to 18. So I'm right on the verge of going up. All right, that will finish off his turn. And that was it for Cap. All right, so guard will move and he's the only one out on the board. So then spawning up top, we have five troopers. Okay, so that'll help out the Hulk. And then down below, guard rush. So three guards and they will move. So they're gonna be here. All right, and then everybody advances on hunger. Hulk takes a wound for that. And then he gets flipped over. All right, back into our turns. So Deadpool's all the way up. So he's gonna have to try to get somewhere. Let's go with Hulk first. So he's gonna move in for his firsts. And then he has to do a devour. So five on fours. Yep, so he devours one. That'll reduce that. One experience. All right, and that was his second action. Well, what's this? This card during your turn increase your hunger. Okay, I can't do that. I couldn't do that during that first thing. All right, uh, let's do a smash. Uh, three on fours. I got one, so one guy goes down. I pick up another experience, and I increase that by one. Uh, third action, so let's go again. That's two. So that'll take care of that. Gives me two more. Now I have my Thunderclap. So when attacking with Smash, you may replace your base dice with one die for each enemy in the zone before any bonuses, ignoring superheroes for this attack. All right. Uh, I have one action left, and I won't be able to move out. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and do another Smash. Or I could do a Devour. Pop the door. Now nah, let's do a smash. All right, so that's going to increase by one again. That guy's gone. And that'll go up by one. All right, so that'll finish off his turn. Let's go with cap next. So one, two. Linky's just going to hold there and I'll take another trait. So this is Frenzy. Discard during your turn, increase hunger, perform one free attack action. All right, so that'll finish off his turn. Deadpool. One, two, three, four. Uh, I better go there. And that will finish off his turn. And then it's just the Wasp. So let's go one, two, three, and four. And that's all I can do with her. All right, so guard will move up. And then spawning up top, we have two guard. 
or three guard. Now that we're in orange. Right. Then down below, we have three guard as well that are going to rush. So they will move here. Lots of guards. All right. Uh, hunger goes up. Deadpool loses another wound. He's almost ready to die. We got to get out of here. All right. Wasp. Let's go with Wasp first. So I'm going to spend an action to pick this up. That gets her five. And then she's in orange now. So she has, during your turn, you may spend one action to perform move, moving up to three zones, ignoring enemies. So that's what I'll go ahead and do. As her second action, I get to move three. One, two, and three. Uh, let's see. Third action. Let's go there. And fourth action, I'll go ahead and attack. Ooh, no, maybe not. She's about ready to go ravenous. So I'm going to hold out there for now. All right, Hulk is next. So let's go ahead and do a smash. So he's going to get three plus three more. All right. And he's looking for four, so he got two. And he drops each one of their toughness to one, so that's why I was able to eliminate two of them with that. So he's up to 23. That was his first. I could do a Devour to drop him down. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to get three dice for that, plus one for the Devour. All right, I got him. That'll drop that. One, and I have two actions left. One, two. All right, so that'll finish off his turn. I don't think I flipped these back over. So Captain hasn't gone yet, Wasp has, and Deadpool hasn't. All right, at this point, I think Deadpool is the most important. So move up one, I'm gonna devour for two. And I got it. So that will drop him back down to zero. I have two actions remaining. So let's get out of here with him. I get one action there. So I'm going to spend one with Betty to get a free move and then two more to get to the exit. All right, so that's, and I've got all the objectives at this point, so now it's just getting out of here. All right, so he's done. And then Cap, at this point, he's going to go ahead and resist hunger, discard that to decrease your hunger by one. So that'll take care of that. And I think I'm going to just hold out there just to see what happens. All right, so that is going to end my turn. So these guys will move up. These guys are going to move over. Up top, we have 10 Trooper Rush. So that would put them here. So I'm just going to put the card out because this, this is all going to... All right, and then all superheroes get an extra activation. There are no superheroes out, so that will take care of that. Then each one of our hungers moves up by one. And these all flip over. All right, and then we basically one, two, one, two, and one, two. And that is the mission. We all made it out of there alive. Well, that was a little closer than I was expecting. Deadpool almost bit the dust. Now, he does have an ability, if I would have gotten him to red, which isn't going to happen, that would have been a little bit interesting, where he doesn't die, he comes back with one wound, which is definitely thematic. But I was nowhere near that, so one more wound and he would have gone down. So it was a lot closer than I was uh, it was expecting. But that is the, the game, so let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this one. If I made any mistakes, I think I got everything correct. But let me know if you caught anything or if you have any questions and feedback. I love hearing from you. Again, let me know if you would like to see a teaching video. The more requests on that, the, the better. That way I can kind of gauge and see if this is one that I should look at doing or not. And I hope you found the video helpful.
And until next time, I'll see you later.